What's going on guys, it's SCG here with an update to my recent PlayStation 4 tutorial. In that video I showed you how to change your profile picture to a custom image and how to edit your avatar. And a main part of that video was showing you how to change the profile picture on your smartphone using the PlayStation app. And at the time of recording that video, I was using the current version of the PlayStation app, but only a few days after uploading that video, PlayStation updated their app with new features and new UI in preparation for the PlayStation 5 release. So basically any part of that tutorial where I was on the app is now kind of relevant because the app is updated, everything's different now. So today I'll be showing you how to change your profile picture and your avatar on the new PlayStation app. So if you haven't already, be sure to update the PlayStation app so that it is up to date and the current version. Uh, you'll see this new UI here. It's all dark mode now, which is nice. Uh, you have this slider on the bottom where you can change between different menus. And for today's video, we're going to be focusing on this uh, user section down here, the controller icon. So select that. And at the top, you'll see your profile username and your profile picture. So tap onto that. It'll take you to this menu right here, which gives us user stats, trophies, stuff like that. And you'll see right under our username, we have the option to edit our profile. Just select that. And it will most likely ask you to sign in. So I'm going to do that right now with my password. And once you are signed in, it's going to take you a menu where you can change all of your profile information. But for now, I'm just going to focus on this section down here, the profile picture and avatar. So avatar is pretty easy, just press edit and you'll see all the different options for avatars. So these new round ones are for the PlayStation 5, but we can also use them on the PlayStation 4. So it's nice we have a bunch of new profile pictures to choose from. We can select older ones down here. So once again, if you did not watch that original tutorial, your avatar is what appears when you're online in an online match and your profile picture is for everything else. So when you're choosing your avatar, keep in mind that it's going to be your icon that is visible online when you're playing in an online match. So I just have this kitten with the tennis ball that is just fine for me. So we can confirm that and we can go to our profile picture. Same uh, menu here, just press edit, and we have two different options. We can either use our avatar as our profile picture, so we can keep it consistent across both of those user icons, or we can change the picture using our camera roll or files. So just pressing that option takes uh, you directly to your uh, file app. So for you, this is all blurred out because these are my personal files and stuff, but I'm just going to select the same profile picture I have right now, which is the YouTube logo. And here it's just the same screen as on the old version of the app. We can zoom in, we can adjust how we want this positioned. So if this looks good to me, I'm going to save, I'm going to confirm. And now my profile picture has been set. And it appears right away on the app, but it might take a few minutes, 10, 20 minutes on your actual PlayStation 4 console before it appears on there. So be patient with it, it might take a while. I'm not sure if it'll update immediately on the PlayStation 5. Um, it might update faster, it might update slower on the PlayStation 5, I don't know, but all I know is that on the PlayStation 4 it will take you a while before it finally updates. So just keep that in mind. And that about does it for today's tutorial. Uh, all of these settings that you're changing on the app now also apply to the PlayStation 5, so if you are going to buy a PlayStation 5 in the next few months, keep in mind that your profile picture and your avatar will be the same on your PlayStation 4 and on your PlayStation 5 if you sign into the same account. So that can also be changed here. So if you would like to change your PlayStation 5 profile picture, it's going to be the same same place on the app here. So yeah, that about does it for today's tutorial. This is most likely the last PlayStation 4 tutorial that I'm going to make. There isn't much more to make about the PlayStation 4 because it is nearing the end of its life. So um if you'd like to see any last PlayStation 4 tutorials, be sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I'll get that in before the launch of the PlayStation 5, and then I'll get started on PlayStation 5 tutorials. So if you'd like to see any of those, if you have some tutorials in mind already for the PlayStation 5, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll try to get to work on those as quickly as possible when I have a PlayStation 5, which might be a while depending on the availability of it. So yeah, that about does it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed... Be sure to leave a like. Once again, I apologize for not making an updated version of this sooner, but I didn't notice until I was using the app today. So that does it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed, and I've been Steven from A Comprehensive Guide, and be sure to have 
a wonderful rest of your day.